Alright, so welcome to another vlog, guys. We're in lockdown again, aren't we, Scarlett? That's you're just right. chilling. You're meant to be at school. Mm. And you're just chilling, huh? Yeah. Living your best life. You <laughs> don't even have to do school work right now. No. Because it's lunchtime. <laughs> if I was at school, it would be lunchtime. It's hard because Scarlett actually really loves school. Anyway, um, I've been mucking around this morning. Um, got the 86 out of here. Did some cleaning up. I am going to be sending this dash off. Um, I haven't told you guys yet, so wifey tried to order me the dash. She ordered and paid for the dash. The company was an American company. We were buying it through, and I guess they're just a reseller. Um, we paid, and then they sent an email saying, we're going to have to pay a bunch of extra money for freight and all this crap. So we weren't happy with that. So um, we've hit up uh, Streeter. So I'm just waiting for an email back from Japan. So we are going to be getting that Karma Fiber dash, guys. So thank you so much for everyone that bought merch and stuff. Definitely helps me be able to do things like that. So. We are getting a carbon dash for the S13. So I'm pumped on that, but it's not here yet. Um, we've got someone waiting to buy this. It sort of stuffed my plans because this American company said the dash would be here in three to four days or five days, I think it was. And I was like, cool, the dash will get here. It'll be in a perfect dash size box. And then I'll be able to box this up and, and, and send it off to the guy that wants it because the bloke that wants to buy it's in Perth. Um, so, you know, I don't want him to wait you know, the guy in Perth to wait a heaps longer to get this dash and I just don't, I don't like it when things are sitting around and worried my kids all jump on it or just something, you know what I mean? So I've been doing a clean up down the side of my house, um, finally getting rid of these red cabinets that used to be here. I don't know if you guys seen them in the background, um, but it was just rubbish that I hadn't got rid of yet. Uh, but we got the JZX90 in here because I'm going to be changing the knuckles. So I've got, I got 50 degree knuckles, I think they're called. Um, they were off eBay, but apparently they're the same as Kazama. Um, it's worth giving them a try. They were cheap, and other people said they're good. They just like the ball joints don't last forever. Um, but that's pretty much the, the story with the JZX anyway. Um, they just eat up ball joints. Very similar to Falcons and stuff as well. You'll hear anybody with like Falcons and Territories and things like that. They always do ball joints. Same thing with JZXs. It's just the, that design. So we are going to be getting on to that. I've got it up on my GK Tech ramps now. Um, but I've just had a call from my fire guy, the one that helps us out with fire extinguishers down at the track. And part of the issue that council want is uh, fire compliance and electrical compliance stuff. So I'm going to go down there and see him now and sort of see what the go is, then come back down here and get to work on this car. I've got my Black Arts tow plate, so I should be able to align it up decent enough myself. Um, we're on a three day lockdown, but by the sounds of it, which is super frustrating because wifey had booked us a holiday up at the Sunshine Coast, um, it could definitely be worse. I know of a couple that are up here right now to drive Archie on, well, it would have been today, Thursday, and then QR is on Friday so I think that was their plan and they've just got up here into Brisbane and are stuck in the lockdown so um, hopefully we can uh, everything goes back to normal 5 p.m. Thursday which means we can run the track from like uh, what would be like 6 till 8 or something at least a two hour session so their trip isn't totally not worth it um, but same for us as well. We're hoping everything opens up 5 p.m. Thursday, um, but apparently there's like 10 cases now, so it's really, really not looking good. So fingers crossed. Yeah, we don't go into a bigger lockdown, but it's not looking good. Like it's gonna cost our economy billions. Like I think they were saying they're expecting like in tourism over a billion dollars this Easter in Queensland. Like one in seven Australians were heading to Queensland for Easter. So um, pretty crazy times with this COVID stuff. I guess it can always be worse. But stay positive, guys. And we'll head down the track now and uh, get this fire stuff sorted out. Just council stuff. Hey, puppy! Hey, puppy! <laughs> And the, the Majesta's ghoul as well, but... <laughs> puppy. Puppy first. Alright, so the man here is helping me out with this fire situation. Not fire, we don't have a fire situation as such. To appease the council. Make the council happy, we continue to run drifting. Pretty 
cool looking cars, the Majestas, and the big bloody Dulux dog. I don't, I forget what, uh, what breed they are. But look at the thing, look, look, look. <laughs> How amazing is it seeing that huge dog hanging out the window? All right, go and see the Speedway and let them know that we've pretty much got everything under control as far as I'm aware. All right, so I did leave, headed back home and got stuck watching maths. If you know what it is, I'm embarrassed. But yeah, ended up watching a bit of maths with my wife. Um, back down here, Fire Guy has sorted everything already. I'm just going to call you Fire Guy. That's how I go with things. All right, we don't need to divulge in stuff. Or do you want your business name on here? No, no, he's good, he's good. All right, so we've got all the fire stuff sorted out. We've got the signage we need. So we're gonna be able to keep the council happy with all that stuff. So we've got our electrical compliance and our fire compliance all sorted. So guys, thank you for everyone that did PM me and everything else. We do have it sorted. Thank you. And puppy, thank you. Thank you, thank you. All right, so this is something, if you've been watching for a while, you've seen. Um, but if you haven't been watching for a while, this used to be um, uh, Lep Labs R31. You, you would know it as the Lep Labs 31. Um, it's now called, I sorry if I butcher, Goosebumps, Goose, yeah. I'll add it in the, right here. Right here is the name of their new name of their channel. Um, but yeah, so we've got this 31, um, it makes good power, it does make really good power, externally gated, RB30. Um, I don't know what kind of turbo, I don't know what kind of ECU, I don't know a lot about this car. It's actually being stored here. Um, we keep it locked away in a container because they are, fortunately the owners are in New Caledonia and they bought this just before COVID lockdown and they haven't actually been able to travel to Australia since they bought the car to be able to come and drive it here at Ashfield Drift Park. So they've asked me to take it out for a rip I'm not going to do it in this video, I apologise guys, but uh, in the very near future when I'm allowed to, when we're not in COVID um, restrictions, because I can't operate the park right now because of the COVID, even if it's just me, um, which is really stupid. So I'm just letting the uh, battery charge up and the oils run through it, but this car we will be taking out um, in a future vlog. So look forward to that. Last time I took it out, big smoke show, really cool to drive, and I had a lot of fun driving it. Um, I might even talk to the owners and I've got a track uh, day coming up at a bigger track soon so I might even talk to them and see if I can take this that'd be kind of cool or I'm, I'm gonna get another car that I've got to pull out um, that we had here in storage as well that we might take out very very soon which I'll show you guys again in another vlog soon but we're gonna head down to the track now a uh, track we're gonna head back to my house now and get going on the JZX 90s new knuckles. All right, we're finally back here at the house. Our new knuckles. Got to work out what's left and what's right. Probably be self-explanatory once I get it on the car. Um, yeah, I'm going to get these wheels off first and then get straight into ripping the knuckle off. All right, so I've been getting some of it apart. About to start, uh, doing the lower ball joint. Lower ball joints, ball joints don't look too bad. I think it's gonna be my top ball joints, which is a minor pain in the butt. It just means I need to replace them. But I may look into getting adjustable upper arms anyway, um, as these do love adjustable upper arms. So we can get some camber in the front and more adjustability. So I'll get these lower ones changed anyway and look into either getting new ball joints for the top or uh, going with an adjustable upper arm. We'll see how we go. Keep going on this anyway. Taking bits out of uh, the circlip out of here. About to start on all the bolts underneath, which uh, I'm not gonna film. All right, so after great difficulties and ruining a perfectly good GK Tech wheel nut off of my S13, I decided yeah, anyway, I didn't film any of it because that's just too hard. I was here on my own. Um, I ended up having to take way more stuff off than I wanted to to be able to break because I don't have a ball joint removal tool. Anyway, long and the short of it, I finally got the stock knuckle out. 
and then that, so that is the aftermarket knuckle next to the stock knuckle so not a huge difference in um, length they're only a little bit shorter um, and then they're a little bit straighter as well so um, they shouldn't yeah they're, they're not crazy knuckles by any means only 50 degree knuckle so they'll definitely be good for a start but what I'm noticing is I, I feel like this knuckle actually feels really good so the only bad part of that is that means it's definitely going to be my upper ball joints that are making the noise so it, this one seems fine which means I'll probably get this off to black arts to get modified to have a more aggressive knuckle um, but otherwise I'm gonna get this new one in finally well I guess biggest way to find out once we put it in I'll know if it was that knuckle or not causing dramas but I feel like yeah the dogs are licking me and sniffing me a lot because I was playing with a Dulux dog you, you know the big fluffy dog? Yeah. I was playing with a Dulux dog. How was that? That track. Mm. Fire guys dog. Mm. So anyway, chuck these new knuckles in. Do a little alignment on it. It all goes back together so much easier than it comes apart. Just to make you look silly, I'm sure of it. Um, but yeah, get it all back together now. Crank everything down, get all the split pins back in, and we'll be ready to go. I need to stop filming now. Hey dog! Hi! Hey dog! You're such a pretty doggy. You're such a pretty dog. Oh, you're so pretty. Oh, you're such a pretty dog. You film it. Yeah. He likes your um, sound thing, the sound port. Yeah. I broke the hammer. Not happy. <laughs> Alright, as you can see, it is now dark. And it's not a situation of it was, you know, the sun went down quick. This job took me way longer than it should have. Um, but it is in now. I've, I haven't even bothered getting my toe plates out. I'm completely over it at this point. Um, essentially being eBay knuckles, they, yeah, I don't think the mold on them was great. So there's a lot of interference when I'm putting them on. So I am a little bit concerned about them. I'm definitely gonna look into a different knuckle and I'll probably have to get a different upright at the same time when I do that. However, we are seeing a little bit of inner wheel. Again, this isn't aligned yet. So, we're we going. That is straight on my wheel. So, don't, I think there's probably a little bit of toe out, and then goes to there. So, not bad. Like obviously, I don't even have a McDiff in a car yet. Um, so what I'm maxing out on now is the rack so i need rack spaces in here once i get rack spaces in probably get quite a bit more lock than i've got now because the, yeah like i said the rack so i'm not hitting the bump stops i'm not running out of clearance i'm just running out of rack so look into getting some rack spaces in here um yeah again i'm not knowledgeable enough with my toyotas but i know you used to get the super now tire rod spaces um, but I'll find out what we need, maybe talk to Chop down at Black Arts because he's right into his JZX's now and get some more lock out of this car. Um, yeah, I essentially I'm trying to do all of this stuff before I go and um, either put a mechanical in it or, uh, or lock the diff. So, you know, so it's all done, I guess. But again, I'm, I'm trying not to do the YouTuber thing and rush and, you know, rush my builds. Um, waiting for Russ to come and finish the rest of the hoses on this car so i've got the remainder of the hose i need as well as the two fittings we we're missing so that should all be finalized and then we'll be able to 
put the oil cooler back on and plumb up anything else that needs to be plumbed up get the belt on that needs to go on that belt that goes there and basically have the car ready to be able to send off to the wiring guy and in all for all intensive purposes he'll be able to start it up on his end once all the wiring is sorted out so we're getting there i'm pumped on it but uh yeah today really really sucked to do this jzx 90 stuff but i am pumped that we got the stuff done with the track so all right she's down on the ground now the toe i don't know for an eye alignment i think i might have got the toe pretty damn good i'm not gonna get a chance to drive the car tonight i spoke to chop though and he said rack spaces give you basically all of the lock in these i didn't know that now i do um so i'm gonna endeavor to get some uh, rack spaces in there but now wife is home with some chinese so we're gonna have some chinese and she's got a bunch of new mail from you guys and some stuff that she's bought so we're gonna go check that out all right guys so we're inside now after the worst chinese i've ever had in my life oh. Oh. Tiana's idea to have Chinese and try a new place wah, wah, did yeah. not work at all. It was bad. It was bad? What are you looking at? Um, I'm just trying to see if this is this person. All right, so two packages that you guys have sent. I know this one's from Shift. Old mate of mine, don't show his address. <laughs> but yeah, Shift, super old mate of mine for like over 20 years now. Show. Stickers. I wonder Stickers? What drinks. Something with cans. Some, <laughs> something with cans. Just tip them out, sweetheart. Uh oh. Got a blood nose. Come on, crying child. Oh, BMX stickers. Alright, so we're dealing with a kid with a. Uh, what do you call it? Blood nose. Holy crap, this is rad. This takes me back in the days, man. Bunch of SM Primo. So any BMX guys know, oh, Troy Lee design sticker. So sick. BHP, Box Hill Pride. What else is in here? This is rad. Hell yeah, Shift. Thanks, dude. Much appreciated. I'll definitely be getting some of these up on my, um, on my, cabinet outside and everything thank you so much um all right on to the next one that's on your uh yeah helmet, my helmet is, is as yeah. well oh a ride bmx oh ride bhp that was a ride bmx one it's the same style all right next one what do you got this is from yeah uh the bmx people too <laughs> Um, C. Blundell. Blundell? Uh, from... Yep. From somewhere. Yeah. Somewhere I'm gonna say, uh, like the UK. Or oh, Europe. wow. Uh, postcode NR189FR. Yeah, UK. Yep. Hot Wheels. Yeah. Oh, I didn't realise they got those over there. Oh, do you have a short card in that? I don't think so. That's cool. <gasps> yes. Yes? Got that nice stuff. You got that in a short card? No. So these are all short cards. No, That's cool. Oh. What is it? <gasps> the hell are you even Can I have that I though, don't you? I do, but I don't think Not I'm a, a short, short card. card. That's sick. Can you see? Yeah, have a look. And can I have some more tissues? Yeah, go get more tissues. I can't. All right, so now what we're going to go on to is woman that can't be trusted bought a bunch of Hot Wheels cars and other things. I, I, yeah, this is going to take a sec. So if you do enjoy this stuff, hang around. If you don't enjoy the Hot Wheels stuff, jump into our store, <laughs> loofing.com, and check out some of the merch, guys. All right, let's go. What do we got? Come on. There's a lot in here. All right. So I'm just going to let her unpack everything guys and then we'll go through it. Camera, come on, take from the top. I'm so excited. So I got all this stuff from uh, Josh Martin. For anyone that's on any of the Hot Wheels pages, you'll probably know him. He does a lot of the raffles, or did, um, and he's retiring like most of his collection. So um, 
I missed out on a lot of the really good low riders, but I got in on some cool rat fink stuff and a few of the little low riders. Um, so because I wasn't uh, too confident on being allowed to buy this stuff, um, he said he'd throw something in for Luke to sweeten the deal. But then I just went ahead and bought the stuff without even saying anything to Luke. And then I got busted later that day because Luke checked, Luke checked the account. Um, but how cool is this? It's a little black limited. And this comes with Model. spare wheels. And a carbon fiber bonnet. It's actually pretty freaking amazing. Oi, careful. So. And there's a little. So it comes with a carbon fiber bonnet if you want to chuck a carbon fiber bonnet on it. Yeah. It's pretty rad. But how cool is that? It's cool. And he threw that in the loop. To keep me happy. Yeah. But I claimed it. It's mm. mine. <laughs> yes. No, it's mine. Yes. Anyway, what else you got? Nissan. I want to pull this out of the box. Oh my god, we just went through this. I know, but it'll only take a second because it was displayed out of the box, so. Yeah. But this one is, yeah. It's really heavy. Sick. How cool is that? That's sick. And then there's like this little little thing. All these were displayed in his house, um, but he just keeps the boxes. So um just Japan. put it in there for transport. So, from Japan, that's cool. Um and then what are they? Little bubble heads. Oh, they're bubble heads. Yeah. That's pretty cool. They're a bit cute. You might be able to put one in your car. Hmm. Maybe the grey one. Alright, what else? Um, there's this really cool lowrider transporter. Oh, like it's actually a lowrider transporter. Yeah, and okay. we we actually have two of the cars that are displayed oh. on there. Mm -hmm. There's one. Oh, show me. I didn't see it. There's that one. Oh, okay. So it's literally on the side of the thing. That's right. Yeah. And, and then I believe is it that one? No. Yeah, no, it looks like it. No, it's not. The, it the not? decals are oh, different. It looks very much the same. Yeah. And then there's these two. So what are they? There is that how they normally come, or are these like some sort of uh, special? Some of them. Um, these are moving parts, though. So like the other one we got over here, which you're going to show them now? Um, I got one more cool thing to show first. Ah. But yeah, moving parts. You have parts. many cool things, but yeah. So. <laughs> I love it. Oh, let me come around the other side, go. Oh, are the lights coming off or is that? The tail lights do. I'm gonna try and get it fixed here. I don't know if there's like a trick to actually making it work, but it's, it's fun. Yeah. Well, you almost got it. Oh, so close. <laughs> but yeah, it's actually a lot of fun. What else? Um, and then a bunch of just like loose cars. So there is a couple in here which have moving parts. This, like this is one. ridiculous. So this is a Hot Wheels. Oh, yeah, go. That is just ridiculous. So you can. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. That is actually ridiculous. This isn't actually it? comes in a box set which I also have. And it was, um, I want to off Josh last year in my first ever Hot Wheels raffle that I entered. So yeah. that's pretty cool. So there's a couple of them. There's one here, but a couple of them are broken. Just kidding. I think, no, that one's not. I, don't I just know. don't think it. They're so scared that one doesn't go as high. Yeah. So still cool nonetheless. Yeah. And then there was, I think this one. No, that one's broken. Yeah, and then, and then that one. Yeah, so we'll have a bit of a suss on these and try and fix them. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, just 
Well, there's a couple of customs, a couple of rat fink customs. So these are ones that um, people have made, right? Yeah. I'll make a bread box one. Yeah. And then and we next. just got like a bunch of random loose low riders, which just look rad. Not moving parts, but yeah. Watch out. Let me, let me get in there. So definitely a bunch of cool stuff. And then Hachiroku. Hachiroku? Yeah. And then, and oh, these, so these couple of vans. So this thing is rad. That is so rad. And then there's a bigger version. Well, that, that one's the drag bus. Then there's this one. So cool and then this one is a custom job. So, yeah. Yeah. So that's custom. So, and then this one is a custom copy of a car that's worth like a thousand bucks or something. Yeah. Close to. Yeah. Um, but that is. Yeah, that's essentially the same yeah, as that. The yeah, the cool combi. So yeah, yeah, it's just a drag bus thing. Anything over else over there that's relevant? What's the go with those two black and white ones? Is there any relevance in those? Are uh, they arts cars? Arts cars. So see how they've got. Well, that one's got a number, but see how these ones have the letters. So every year, Hot Wheels does um, arts cars, which I only learnt like the end of last year, all the letters on the top, which obviously makes sense, um, they spell something. So when you collect all the arts cars throughout the year, so they don't come in like a specific type of car, like it'll just be random cool cars, um, they spell something. So yeah, it'd be interesting to see what this year's one spells because I'm starting to collect the whole series from this year. But yeah. You're doing pretty well for someone that's stopped buying Hot Wheels. Mm. Mm. All right, anything else of relevance? Real riders. Have you even felt? Yeah, the rubber tires. Yeah. yeah. I didn't know if you felt the yeah. rubber tires before and anything. So. All right. Well, I think that's about it. Yeah. That's about it. You've, she's got some other stuff, but we're not going to open on film, apparently, for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe it's because she spent too much money on something. But, uh, no, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to wrap it up right there, guys. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'm going to keep pushing on with some JZX90 stuff, but tomorrow we have a lot of Falcon stuff to do. So yeah, check out the store, support the channel. Peace out guys, stay positive, and I'll see you in tomorrow's vlog.